What's up, guys? Arian Knight here, professional runner for Adidas, under 18, under 20 world record holder, and welcome to Tampa. I'm gonna walk in. I'm gonna go to Tesla, though, no cap. You say you're gonna go to Tesla? It's raw, though. Yeah, because I don't even. I don't even. Put, who puts their hands on top of the wheel? I don't put both hands on the wheel, but I do put my hand on top of it. Be a funny set. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do that dick, so I'm going to go up to the. I'm like, do you have a shoe to like that makes you actually run fast? I'm, I'm, I'm just now starting track. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I just need a shoe that that's very comfortable. I just started running. I run 12 and 100. <laughs> Bro. Good. Yeah, Bro, I'm uh, cap. These are low key kind of raw. I might get these, no, like right now. I don't know if I want them all white pair though. I wanted these when we was in Portland. You want to wear they these? But they had my size. You want to wear these? These, these. I got these in white. These are the best now. Some of the stories, but I got these. These, matter of fact, I got the same version of these right here. I recommend these. These are like, these are so good. It's probably the best. Yeah, we yeah like these are the ones I like. I do like warm ups in. I warm, not warm up, but I'll probably do a lap in those. <laughs> these look, these like a mixture between these and the regular these. Just a regular kit, right? You can go buy, they want 25. You want, they want 25, you can go buy. 25K for that and it's $220. Now I'm good, I don't wanna race. I don't race. I don't race. You don't wanna do that. I'm him. Yes, he stuck with me. Um, and I, I give credit to um, his agent, Ramon Clay and John Regis. You know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Yeah. And we've been rocking together for the past three and a half years, and we've been successful before pro. And look at what we've continued to do. Um, they partnered me up with the legend, Coach Mike Holloway, to mentor me throughout this process, mm -hmm. um, to you know shift my mind from youth track to high school track to now pro track, and having a one one out of ten year generational talent. You know what I mean? And so. It has been the perfect, you know, dynamic duo between Coach Holloway Music and I. Music over there in the corner. Oh, what was man. your favorite subject? History, that's upstairs. I ain't going over there. <laughs> Where's your barber class at? That's all the way over there. Where you first come in? Do you feel young? Like, when you go to these pro races and you look to your left and, like, maybe, like, I mean, something like last year, like, Justin Gatlin could have been in the same heat as you and... He was, you know, he won the Olympic gold medal when you were a baby. I wasn't even, I, oh, I was born. I was finna say I wasn't born, but I forgot that I was born in January. But, um, I mean, I definitely think, I, well, I know I'm young, but my mind said I don't take it as if I'm young. I mean, I feel like I'm on the same level just as, just as anybody else that's there. I mean, it's the reason why I was there. I mean, I wasn't there just off somebody put me in there. I earned my way into, the, into my spot. So, I mean, I'm definitely young, but, like, the mindset, my mindset not young at all. So let's go to the decision to turn pro. Like, what factored into that? I mean, the opportunity presents itself. I mean, did, was it was it a difficult decision? The only reason why I say it was difficult is because it's just giving up football. Um, I wouldn't say it was like a no-brainer, but I was just thinking about like, um, I mean, any wrong hit you can get hit in football. Um, why not go just start my track career early? Um, on the highest level. I mean, even if I wanted to go back and play football, my first love, I can go back and play it. But I was like, why not? I mean, track is one of the sports where, I mean, I just feel like I could have just took the chance and then if I just fell, I, I mean, if I would have failed, it just wouldn't be like, oh, I got football, I can go back to. One of my math classes, Ms. Laura, she's not there. 
Nobody ain't in the classroom. But that was my classroom, the math classroom. That's the, the famous tweet one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that one. Let's just take a lap, and I'm gonna hit you with some random questions. Let's, do it. Let's see how fast. Rapid fire. First up, top five rappers, dead or alive? Of all time? All time. Um, Kanye, Jay Z, G Herbo. Okay. Uh, I don't know who that is. I said Biggie. You didn't say Biggie yet. Oh, I throw Biggie so in there. Four. I don't know. And I throw Raw Wave. Okay. Raw Wave. Unlimited budget. If you could have any car, what would it be? Hellcat Jailbreak. <laughs> like, of course, like the newest Hellcat that just came out. Favorite movie ever? It's the one with Will Smith and I keep forgetting it. Hitch? No, it's the one with the dog and it's like some zombie type movie. What is it called? Oh, it called? I Am Legend. I'm like, I Am Legend. Favorite TV show? Oh, uh, Stranger Things. Did you see the new season? I did not yet. I'm going to watch it. The debate that me and a bunch of distance runners like to have is LeBron James and five minutes for the mile. Do you think he'd ever break five minutes for the mile? No. Could you? Yes. Yes? Four really? 459. 459. 59. Okay. <laughs> yeah. How would you run that? Is it just sprint, take a little break, sprint, or nah, just, can you just crank out four seventy fives? I'll probably just I'll probably just run out of steady pace and just crank it up last lap. Okay, I like that. See, there's yeah. not that many distance I mean there's not that many sprinters who would actually say, Hey, I can break five minutes for the mile. I like your confidence there. Yeah. What, what's the price tag for you to try it? I need at least twenty K. 20K. All right, we're going to start the fundraiser for Arian to run a no, mile. No, I don't need 20K. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll run it for free, but I need at least 5K there because, you know, if I'm going to go to the hospital after that and I got to pay for the hospital. <laughs> I need 5K. Can you take me through the race at LSU and what was so special about that day? From like maybe the moments that you woke up, did you, was that a day that you were like, I think something special is happening? Uh, I'm not... <laughs> I didn't even think of like I didn't even, I didn't wake up thinking I was gonna do something special. Um, it was a 200 meter season opener, so I was just like, just let me get through the race and win it at least. Just let me win the race. So, I mean, I obviously won the race, but I thought I was gonna run like 19.8 open, like legal open. So when they called 19.4, that's why you that's why you didn't see me celebrate and like, cause I didn't hear the win. You just heard 19.4, so I'm like, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for the win. I'm looking up, and I'm, I think it's gonna be like plus, like plus five, five point nine. But like how I was in Bermuda. <laughs> but I'm, th I'm thinking it, it gotta be something crazy win. If it's season opener 19.4, and I never ran under 19. I never even. I ran. I never ran under 19.8. In terms of just like you already made an Olympic team, you finished fourth at the games, and you know for a lot of people that would have been the highlight of their career, the greatest moment ever. And you've already accomplished that at 18 years old. So the next couple of years in track, like it's really you know all just extra at this point. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. I didn't do nothing yet. I only made an Olympic team. Um, made an Olympic final. What else I did? I mean, I only ran 19.4, which is I'm not saying it's I'm not saying it like it's slow, but I mean I didn't I didn't medal yet. I don't have a world record, um. So I, I think it's not over. Uh, I, I don't think this is a which this is the highest point. Final question has nothing to do with running. I ask everybody, you get 25 shots from half court, and we're actually right next to the basketball court right now. If you make one, you win 25 million dollars. If you don't make any of the 25 shots. You'd go to jail for 25 years. I'm definitely making one. And I'm definitely going to take a chance. We can go see this right now. <laughs> All right, let's go see it right now then. All right.